How can we evaluate this limit? What is the limit as x approaches 9 for the function 1 over square root x minus 1 over 3 divided by x minus 9? Feel free to try this problem if you want to. Now in this problem we have radicals and we have fractions. What do you think is the first thing that we need to do in order to evaluate the limit? Well, you could try direct substitution. If you plug in 9, you're going to get 9 minus 9 on the bottom and on the top 1 over the square root of 9 minus 1 over 3. The square root of 9 is 3. And so you're going to get 0 over 0, which that's really not going to help us. So direct substitution is not going to work in this example. Now, because we have a complex fraction, that is, fractions within a fraction, what we want to do is we want to get rid of those fractions. And we can do this by multiplying the top and the bottom of the large fraction by the common denominator of these two fractions. And so we're going to multiply the numerator by 3 square root x. And whatever you do to the top, you must also do to the bottom. So we're going to multiply the denominator by 3 square root x. 3 square root x times 1 over square root x. These two will cancel, leaving behind 3. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches 9. We're going to have a 3 on top. Now, 3 square root x times 1 over 3, the 3's will cancel, and so we're going to get negative square root x. On the bottom, we have x minus 9 times 3 square root x. So we no longer have a complex fraction, but we still have radicals in this problem. How do we get rid of the radicals or the square root symbols? What you want to do at this point is you want to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this expression. To find the conjugate, it's going to be 3 plus square root x. It's exactly what you see here, but you need to change the negative sign into a positive sign. So we're going to multiply the denominator by the same thing. So now let's FOIL. We're going to have 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 3 times the square root of x. That's going to cancel with negative 3 square root x. But I'm going to write it out. And then negative square root x times square root x. That's just going to be negative x. On the bottom, we have x minus 9 times 3 square root x and then 3 plus square root x. So these two will cancel, and so we're just going to be left with 9 minus x on the numerator. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a negative 1 from 9 minus x. If we take out negative 1, the negative x will become positive x. The positive 9 will become negative 9. So as you can see at this point, we can cancel x minus 9. And so what we now have is the limit as x approaches 9 of negative 1 over 3 square root x times 3 plus square root x. So at this point, we can now replace x with 9 because we're not going to get a 0 in the denominator of the fraction. So this is going to be negative 1 over 3 square root 9 times 3 plus the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. 3 plus 3 is 6. 9 times 6 is 54. So the answer 
for this problem is negative 1 over 54. And if you want to, you can uh, check this answer. Negative 1 over 54 as a decimal, that's equal to negative 0 0.0185 repeated. Now, if we plug in 9.1 into the function, if you type this into your calculator, 1 over the square root of 9.1 minus 1 over 3 divided by 9.1 minus 9, this is going to give you negative 0 0.0183656. And then if you plug in 9.01, which will be uh, this right here. This will give you negative 0 0.018503. As you can see, as x approaches 9, the function approaches this value, negative 0 0.0185. Now, if you want to check it from the left side, that is, if you want to plug in 8.99, you should get negative 0 0.018503. 8534. So this just confirms that our answer is indeed correct. So now you know how to evaluate limits that contain fractions and radicals. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.